All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about WordPress widgets, what they are, and how you can use them. Now, basically, what a widget is, is a widget is a small block on your WordPress site that performs a certain function. It can be a small block or an area on your site that performs a certain function. And I'll show you on our website right here that we're doing, and the widgets over here are going to be on the left. Like this little block right here that says archives, that's a widget. This recent comments area, that's a widget. The recent posts area, that's a widget. This categories right here on the left, that's a widget. Where it says meta, this has your site login information, that's a widget. And what's really cool about widgets is they allow you to add different functions Okay, to your website, like you can add calendars over there, you can add opt-in forms, you can add menus, you can do anything that you want inside of these widgets. You can even add plain text and format the text with HTML so that, you know, it can display banners or it can display an opt-in form on your website. There's lots of things that you can do with widgets. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to access your widgets on your site and show you how to use them. So what you want to do is you want to go to your dashboard and then over here on appearance you can see that there's this little section here called widgets. So just click on that link. In WordPress it comes standard with these sidebar widgets already in place. Like you can see we have the recent post widgets, we have comments, we have archives. We have all these things over here on the left hand side and, and truthfully I don't like all those things over there. But what's great about widgets is you can just drag and drop it. You can see right here, all that we have to do to activate a widget is to grab it from the left-hand side and to place it over here on the right-hand side. And you can see on this particular WordPress theme, we have the primary sidebar widget area. And then we also have a footer widget area that we can use. And I'm going to show you how to use both of these. But for right now, let me just make a quick change to show you what it looks like. So, like I said, all these widgets are right over here on the left-hand side, and truthfully, it makes for your website to be a little cluttered. We don't need a lot of these things. Like, I don't want any comments over here. I don't want my categories. I don't want the meta. I don't want the links. So you can see what we've done here is now we just have the recent posts and the archives, and I even don't want the archives. So I'm going to slide that out of there. Now, if we go refresh our page, okay, we can go refresh this page and you're going to see that our left-hand side has been cleared up quite a bit now. I mean, it's been cleared up a lot. All right. So those are the widgets. And one of the most powerful widgets that you can use is this little text widget down here. And what this does is this allows you to, like if we put a text widget in here, I'll just go slide this up here we can add a text widget and we could add put ads in there we could put Google AdSense ads if we wanted to we could put just about anything that we want and just to show you and then we'll just go ahead and save this real quick just to show you when we go ahead and refresh this page now you're gonna see that our little text widget has been added here so we'll get rid of that for right now but the text widgets, they really are very awesome. Like you can add, if you have an opt-in form, you can paste your opt-in form code in there. You can place banner code in there. There's all kinds of things that you can place in there. So I'm going to get rid of this one here right now for just a second. Okay. We could add a calendar if we want to add a calendar onto there. We can add it. We can add all the pages from our sites. We can add a custom menu. We get a list of links. There's lots of things that you can add to your widgets. Widgets are really powerful, and they're a great way to add functionality to your site and also make navigation a little bit easier. And in this particular theme, there is a footer widget area. So we could go ahead, we could add our links down there if we wanted to. And what that's going to do is that's going to add a list of our blog roll links where right now there's not much in there but if we go over to our blog roll we could go ahead and change these links which right up here in the dashboard links 
These are just the standard links that WordPress comes with, but we could have links to any of our sites. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get rid of all these for right now. I'm going to delete these. And then I'll show you, like, we can add new links. So we could add a link. We can name this our favorite This is our favorite site, and we could type in the address here. Okay, and then the description that's going to be shown when someone hovers over. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and add link. So now this is going to be added into our links. Now when we go back over to our widgets, okay, what I want to do is right into the footer area. Remember, I just put in that link. So now when we refresh this web page, you can see our calendar is added over here in that widget box. And then down at the bottom, you can see that our blog roll is down here where it's our favorite site. And then you can see the little pop-up of the description saying, this really is my favorite site. So widgets, they're very powerful. You can do a lot with them. And like I said, you just drag things in and out as you want to use them. We can add our categories. We can add our custom menu if we want to. There's all kinds of things that we can add right into the widget area. Widgets are very powerful.